Well, as we've been reporting, the IMF has raised its projections for China's economy in its latest report, report on the world economy. Tsai ching Yun caught up with the person leading that research, IMF chief economist Maurice Obstfeldt. She started by asking why the fund revised up its forecast for China. Well, we've seen very strong growth in China in the first half of, of 2017 with 6.9 percent growth in, in both quarters. Uh, our new forecast for this year overall is 6.8 percent. You know, it owes to an, a number of things. I mean, one is um, fiscal support from the, uh, from the authorities, uh, which has been important. Uh, the housing market has been very strong. That's been a driver of growth. Uh, the region is very strong. Of course, China helps drive the region, but it also draws strength from the region. And uh, if you look at uh, East Asia, including Japan, uh, it is the fastest growing region in the world now. The 19th Party Congress is going to take place soon. How will the IMF observe this event? Well, we'll be watching the Party Congress very closely. Um, and listening for the important new policy initiatives that, uh, that come out of it. Um, we look forward very much to engaging with the Chinese authorities uh, after the Party Congress on uh, uh, the priorities for um, uh, assuring uh, rebalancing in China, stable growth, greater resilience in its financial system. The past few years marked a critical transition of China's economy, shifting from the export-led to consumption and service driven. How does the IMF look at the China's reform agenda to pursue a slower but more sustainable development in the new normal? Well, it's an essential agenda, and a lot of progress has been made in the last five years since the, the last uh, Party Congress. Um, you know, in particular, there has been uh, a great deal of uh, financial liberalization. Um, evolution in China's financial markets. And this presents uh, great opportunities, but also uh, perhaps some challenges in terms of financial stability. And the Chinese authorities have been very clear in recognizing these and in moving to uh, improve the institutional framework for, um, for uh, uh, guarding against financial risks.